In this video, we're going to show you how to access and control the creative functions of the Ronin-S using the Ronin-S app. The capture menu gives you access to the virtual joystick, as well as a shutter button to trigger recording. Three on-screen dials allow you to adjust speed and smoothing for each axis. When selecting panorama, you can set sensor type and focal length according to your particular setup. Overlap is the extent to which individual photos will overlay each other in constructing the panorama. A higher overlap percentage will create a more accurate panorama, but will require more photos to be taken. The standard value of 30% is set by default. Delay is the amount of time that the gimbal will remain still after triggering the shutter, which can be helpful for nighttime or low-light panoramas. When you're ready, tap the shutter button and the Ronin-S will take the panorama. When selecting a time-lapse, you will be able to adjust the interval, content duration, and frame rate for the shot. This will determine the number of photos and amount of time needed to create the time-lapse, which the app will indicate below. The top right of this page also includes a camera setup icon to adjust the supported camera's shutter speed, ISO, and other settings. To choose the position of the gimbal for the time-lapse, you can adjust it with the joystick on the handle, the virtual joystick in the app, or manually adjust the direction yourself. When you're ready, tap the shutter button and the Ronin-S will begin the time-lapse. When selecting motion lapse, you will have access to every parameter as in time-lapse with two additional features. Because motion lapse moves the gimbal's position during capture, you can use the grid above to add and set up to five waypoints. Tap the waypoint to select, then manually adjust the camera angle to set or use the delete symbol to delete the selected point. Tap again to deselect and use the plus symbol to add another point. Track is similar to motion lapse, but you can set up to 10 waypoints for real-time video capturing. Use the preview button to check your shot. For each chosen point, indicated on the grid in blue, you can adjust duration and stay time. Duration is the amount of time in seconds that the gimbal will take to move from the previous point to the chosen point. Stay time is the amount of time in seconds that the gimbal will remain still at the chosen point. 